Hello friends, welcome to my channel Picture Fun. Today we are going to learn how to create amazing art in Photoshop. So let's begin the tutorial. First I am going to take a Canva. So just click on File, New, take Document Size and just click on Create. So your document is ready. Now I just select this tiger image. So I just select this one by using Select Subject. So this one is selected and I just take laser tool click on this layer and simply select or reselect these lines okay and also these lines so this one is selected and simply place in your new document so this one is placed adjust this lion image like this just simply transform and make flip horizontal ok so this one is placed and next we just place this forest image in our background so I just drag and drop this one place this one behind this tiger image control minus okay okay so this one is placed control plus and So take this time I'm going to take a smart tool make this make strength 70 to 80 percent 80 percent is good control plus adjust the size of your brush by using bracket key and apply this So my friend the smart tool work is completed and our next image is this is our model image so we are going to just place this one so i just place this one in this area and i'm going to uh, make the make this one duplicate just duplicate this one and after duplicate we are going to blower this background image so just click on filter blower and select gases blower okay this one is good next we just adjust the color of our line image so first take curves or you can direct adjust this one from camera raw filter and start adjustment so first i'm going to make this one little bit darker so i use this dark option and also convert this one highlight decrease light decrease is the white area decrease and highlight it is also make decrease little bit decrease the saturation increase the clarity okay then press ok so this one is little bit darker and now we are going to select adjustment layer select curves so select curves click on this icon this one is the clipping mask option so just decrease this one okay and now we just adjust the color of our line image so go to color balance and make this one clipping mask and
okay do the same thing with again choose again color balance and this time increase green area select exposure right click and make this one little bit darker I think this one is looking good and again select this layer and increase blue color okay I think this one is good and next we just select this forest image select color balance and select blue color okay so this one is done no I think this one is look pretty cool so I just convert this one and the work is completed almost and I'm going to take a blank layer and I give a scar so I just take laser tool control plus and I place a small scar in this area so I just draw this one so this one is done select solid color select red and again take a blank layer right click create clipping mask go to brush tool make opacity 31 percent foreground color black bracket key for adjust your brush size and apply this so my friend this one is done and i'm going to merge both this layer so you know, simply sorry i'm going to duplicate this one so just duplicate this both layer and adjust this one like this this is the perfect place i think and again make duplicate this one sorry select both layer and duplicate this one and place this one in that portion and again one more time duplicate just duplicate this one and place this one in that portion i think this one is look pretty good so again select this line image a blank layer and create clipping mask so this one is done just just select this blank layer go to brush adjust the size of brush 30% is perfect or uh, make this one 15% and apply this sorry just release clipping mask and apply this areas and do the same thing with this area select this layer and place this one in this area take a mask layer and remove this area so just remove these lines select this scar so my friend uh, the work is almost almost completed and i'm going to add some fire effects so i just select this again select this tiger image and i'm going to select the fire effect so first i just merge all these scar layers just merge this one and right click blending option hold alt key hold alt key and now so this one is perfect this one is look original and next right click clipping mask no, sorry 
release clipping mask and just select this layer and go to just select this layer and select adjustment layer and select this time first select blending mode and linear dodge and select solid color and i am going to select the yellow color i think this one is perfect and right click blending option hold alt key and decrease this one okay and i think i am going to make this one little bit red okay so this one is completed just select mask layer and select control i to invert this layer go to brush tool and apply colors or light so make this one more brighter so i'm just take exposure and just click on clipping mask and increase exposure i think this one is good and just press control i to invert this layer and simply select or simply apply exposure effect So select again this curve layer and clipping mask and decrease this color and select this layer one more time and make this one little bit red okay so this one is done the light effect is completed the fire effect is completed and I'm going to apply some extra fire for this layer or extra glow for this one so I just take a blank layer and simply place this one on this area just upper layer of this boy so I just take this one brush so and select this time linear dodge select solid color and select this reddish yellow then press ok make this one little bit more brighter i think this one is good press ctrl i take a brush make opacity is 27 percent is ok increase the size of your brush and apply this So all these things are completed and next take this layer, select this one, uh, sorry, take brush and apply this area. Next this, this is our plant image. So I'm going to place this images because this one provide you the 100% realistic look. So I just place this one first one I place in this area and this one is very easy so select just U saturation clipping mask make this one little bit saturated change the color of this one I think dark green is perfect and increase or decrease oh sorry so dark lip is completed and and go to curves and select this one like this okay take this select this layer select a blank layer and select overlay sorry linear dodge and select solid color 
and apply the same process. So my friend all things are completed and we are going to our final touch so we just open camera raw for our final touch so just merge the complete work into a one layer so just hold shift ctrl alt plus e then right click convert to a smart object go to filter select camera raw filter and start selection or start working so I just decrease this exposure, increase the contrast, highlight area increase, shadow area decrease. So all things are cleared. Just increase the clarity. Saturation increase this one little bit and increase the highlight light darker area decrease and make shadow area increase okay increase the sharpness and select this color saturation increase the blue color or cyan color And select this split tone make this highlighted area little bit yellowish red and darker area make kind blue so this one is done okay then press ok so my friend the work is done i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay see you soon with new tutorial goodbye